Well guys, today I've got a new video for you on my Galaxy S4 and I've kind of put together basically a themed ROM for you guys. Um, this is the Verizon version. So just let me just show you guys really quick what we are on. Um, we're going to go into settings and about phone really quick. And I just show you that this build is going to be based on MDK, which is your uh, base band or build number, last three digits right there. Um, this is Android version 4.2.2, or I'm sorry, yeah, 4.2.2, which is Jelly Bean, and it's for the Galaxy S4 Verizon Edition. Um, basically, what you got here is we're going to do a ROM install of a ROM that basically I've themed out and made for you guys. Uh, which is pretty fun. I'm learning a lot on this right now, which is pretty cool. Uh, I haven't done this before myself. So, first of all, prerequisite for this thing, um, your device has to still have the Loki hack working. I know on the newest build, uh, ME7, I think, newest OTA, Loki is not working. You can get root permission on that, but you cannot get Loki yet. So you probably are still going to be based on this build number if you have Loki um, hack working which allows you to get custom recovery and all those goodies. So let's go ahead and uh, go ahead and go into the install on this thing. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and use ROM Toolbox just because it's easy to use. And we're going to do a reboot, reboot recovery, and get into recovery, grant access. And there we go. That should reboot me into recovery. I have Team Win Recovery Project installed. Now you can see I've tripped the little custom uh, boot animation here on boot up with this ROM. It's really not an issue. It's just going to have that on boot up. Uh, if you really want to get rid of it, you can, I think, use um, Triangle Away or something like that. I think we'll get rid of that. Uh, but anyway, so here we go. We're in Team Win Recovery Project. Uh, first thing you're going to want to do is do a an Android backup of your system by selecting everything uh, backup is to SD card set backup name and I'm just gonna call this my build because it is okay hit go and then we're gonna go ahead and swipe across and this is gonna create an Android backup whatever you're backing up if you're on stock ROM if you're on a custom ROM whatever it is just go ahead and name your backup that and normally the date that's a good way to you know you have the right thing so I'm going to go ahead and let this backup run and we'll come back to it and do the install. Alright, so it says to reboot system now, but we just finished our backup and it took about 10 minutes for me to, to make that backup. It took quite a bit, so we're just going to go back twice here. And we should have an Android backup. We can go to restores and you should be able to see, there it is, root junkie on the top. And you have that in case you need it. If there's an issue, you're good to go there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go to wipes and then just swipe across and it'll wipe. Um, it's going to wipe out data, cache, and Delvic, and just a good thing to do. It doesn't take that long normally to run. And there we go. We'll go back, hit back again, go to installs. Got to find the ROM wherever you downloaded it. Uh, mine is going to be on. Well, it should be on here. Let's see. Should be on SD card, and right there. And then here it is. It's just root junkie slash ROM dash S4 um, MDK version 1 and just click on it and then swipe across now this does include all of your of your MD5 apps except for I removed a couple of them that uh, look for OTA updates so besides those being missing this has full all the applications that comes with MDK build um, root along with super su for root access and I think I also added ES file browser into it just for fun and because I love using it and you can see right here what it's doing this is based off of Beanstown's uh, stock MDK MDK ROM um, and it's just been tweaked basically so you can see it says right here made by me Tom SGT123 and rootjunkie.com and it's basically a hollow slash green ROM um, with a couple little tweaks in it also. I've also changed your boot animation. You'll see that 
on boot up here so you're not going to see that Verizon goofiness anymore. So let's just go ahead and let this install and we'll come back to when it finishes up. Alright, so there we go. We've uh, finished the install process. Um, took about three or five minutes or so to flash that. Um, so then all we got to do is come down here and hit the reboot system and it is going to reboot. Um, now this obviously ROM does have Loki Hack installed and you can see you have the custom animation again right here for this unlock thing. Um, don't know why it's doing that, haven't figured it out. I'm sure, you know, I'll see what it, I can do with it, but it really doesn't hurt anything. Everything boots, everything still works for custom recovery. You can install another ROM, it's not, a, not an issue really. Um, but here you go, you can see this is the stock Samsung boot animation. I went ahead and changed that out for you guys. I got rid of that Verizon junk. Uh, we're going to let this thing uh, boot up here. It probably could take up to 10 minutes. I don't think it'll take that long, maybe more like 5 at tops. And we'll let it boot up and we'll check this thing out. So we're just going to go ahead and just skip through all this right now for right now. Skip all this setup and just get in here so I can show you guys the application. Or ROM I should say. So I'll go easy on me. This is my... Um, first ROM kind of editing and theming um, so like I said kind of kind of kind of go easy on me I'm just I'm just still learning here this is a very much an alpha ROM I guess in, in the in the sense of the theming side of it I should say because everything is fully functional on here um, everything is working quite well uh, you can see it looks pretty much exactly like stock um, you can see you do have the themed green icons along the top you can see that your pull down is all also themed um, and some other theming different icon stuff uh, which is pretty cool picking your order stuff like that um, turn that off because I don't like it go back you can slide everything's themed you can change them turn on Bluetooth however you want to do it um, so it's pretty sweet let's go ahead and go into settings and you can see this is all themed with the green toggles green and black just pretty much blacked out um, picking your header and all that kind of good stuff and you can see right here under build number that we are on the MDK right there build number so same Android version um, so there you go it's pretty pretty cool looking um, you do have like your messaging headers changed a little bit just some you know little things and then your different uh, uh, launcher stuff right in here. I have themed some of this out too a little bit which is just fun to do. Um, let's go ahead and show you I think this one I got a little bit themed on here. So you got that one and then also if I can find it yeah light assist on there turn on your, your little flashlight or whatever. Um, so I got some of those things themed but like I say this is really much I'm just trying it out and seeing how to like it if you guys want to check out this ROM and put it on your device, be my guest. I'm going to link it in the video description down below, and you guys can check it all out. You can also see the lighting here too, actually, or sound. It's all black and uh, green, just kind of cool looking. Um, so anyway, it's going to be in my video description down below. Uh, if you guys want, go ahead, download it, flash it, enjoy, have fun with it. Edit it yourself if you want, I don't really care. Um, also, uh, if I do any updates to this, as I tweak stuff myself I'm just gonna keep linking those updates in the video description new versions and stuff like that anyway uh, as always guys please check me out up here at rootjunkie.com rootjunkie.com follow me on Facebook or Twitter over there on the side and uh, that's it there's my little rootjunkie ROM hope you guys like it and we'll catch you guys next time